what is actually good people so I've been meaning to make this video for a little bit but I have to um, acknowledge something here we're going into the first gym right and this is honestly the one thing that I dreaded for pretty much the entirety of <laughs> this game right and, and you might say, hey, you know, hey, MSD, you know, you know, this is the first gym, what are you doing? Like, you should be excited. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna play through this part real quick, and then I'm going to play a clip from, uh, uh, you, some of you might know him as Shofu, he does a lot of Pokemon content, a lot of Nintendo content as well, um, but he says it better than anyone else can. <laughs> Hi, you're here to challenge the gym, aren't you? I'm not a trainer, but I can tell you're worthy of challenging the gym leader. Now let's get started. This Pure City gym only allows trainers who know the type matchups to enter. There are a few types that have an advantage against the gym leader's rock type Pokemon, but for trainers who have never challenged a gym before, we have them either use grass or water type Pokemon. But to show me a grass or water type Pokemon if you want to face the gym leader. Now we have Odyssey. Great. Pokemon well, is exactly what I wanted to see. Head on in and aim to become the Pokemon Champion. And I'm going to leave it right there. And I'm going to go ahead and cut off the audio for the game. And I want you guys to just listen to this. Because he says it better than anyone else possibly can. Uh, and then Lars is a little bit. When yeah. making, yeah, when making these games on uh, Switch, you know, bringing what? Like, the, the region to the, the Switch games, we what? <laughs> okay. You have to show look. This is what they're saying to you, bro. Hey, you fucking idiot! Your Pikachu knows double kick for no reason in particular other than to beat this particular gym leader. But since you're so goddamn stupid, you also. Need a water or grass type Pokemon. I just fucked up my entire computer screen right so now. So you get a double kick Pikachu, and they don't even let you play the gym unless you come back with a water or grass type Pokemon. If if they make you come back with a water or grass type Pokemon, why are they giving your Pikachu double kick? That's overkill. You could have very easily just not given Pikachu a, a move he doesn't learn. And maybe we go get a grass or water type. You fucking idiot kid! You're fucking five years old. You don't know shit. <laughs> so because we, get... <laughs> you little dumbass kid, you don't know how to play Pokemon. Go get you a grassy water type and come back with your Pikachu that knows Double Kick, and then we're gonna give you uh, a Chansey that knows Hydro Pump, and then we're gonna give you a <laughs> a Graveler. That knows, that knows Grass Punch, and we're gonna give you a, a Charmander that knows Water World, so that you can beat this gym leader. Water World? Huh? Is that a new move? Hey, don't worry about that. He's taking, <laughs> just wait, he's taking it to a theme park? Stupid ass little Timmy. You don't know shit, little Timmy. Timmy's got Water World though, hold up. Fuck you and your double kick Pikachu. You're still not good enough to beat this gym because you're so fucking stupid. So now you gotta go find me a grass type or a water type if you even wanna have a chance of beating this gym because you're so fucking stupid. Like, what is this? How right, I'm gonna pause it right there. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Shofu. But that's exactly my point. Like, the hand holding in this game is. I understand it. I understand it. I will not neglect that even a little bit. I fully understand it. But I don't agree with it. Because I was a kid once. And guess what? I had to go ahead and figure this shit out on my own. Nintendo, what are you doing? <laughs> oh man. Regardless, I just had to get that out. I am... The only reason I'm not out here like... Oh, I'm, I'm waving the Joy-Con all over. Pikachu, stop. The only reason I'm not just livid is because... There's there's people still sleeping. I'm recording this at seven in the morning. <laughs> but <laughs> Timmy, so fucking stupid. I'm sorry for all the kids watching this. <laughs> Trust me, I'm only like this when I'm drunk. Okay, so yeah, our Pikachu's level nine because I just had to show off this 
monstrosity of game design. Why? Why? Why did my Pikachu win double kick? <sighs> Picnicker Amara. But yeah, like... You know what? Actually, um, at work today, I was actually talking to a friend of mine about Generation 1. And just how... Um, I, I explained to him this part of the game where, like, the hand-holding gets obnoxious. And he had the ex he doesn't play Pokemon anymore. Even he had the exact same reactions that I had, and the same reactions that Shofu had, same reactions that a majority of um, people had. And that was actually a reaction video that he did um, to a Nintendo Direct uh, Treehouse presentation. And they mentioned in that presentation that the game is for everyone. This game is not for everyone. This game is for people who play Pokemon Go and children. <laughs> Lucky for fucking Nintendo that I'm still nine at heart. Oh my goodness. It's just. It, it's obnoxious how they presented. Like, I'm not even the presenting presentation because this presentation, this is clean. This is clean. You don't get cleaner than this, my boy. Hurry your ass up! I'm a. <laughs> Jeez. Stop right there, kid. You're 10,000 light years away from facing Brock. No, my dude. This is. It, it is obnoxious. Like, I'm willing to bet that I don't even have to switch out my Pokemon at all for this entire gym. Like, I, I'm willing to bet it's at that level. Let's fight this level 7 Geodude. I used Thunder Shock by accident. But it doesn't oppose him. Tackle, tackle, tackle. Um, no, I just, I'm, <laughs> I'm angry, but I don't, I don't know if I have the right to be angry, because like I said, I know who the game is for, the game is not for me, I'm complaining, yes, because, if you recall from the first episode, this is the exact same stuff that I said really discouraged me from even buying the game, and I know a lot of people that love Pokemon that didn't buy this game, because they figured it's not for them. You done, you done messed up, AA Ron. Like, God, I wanna be, I wanna be yelling at this game so bad right now because I really hope that it's not like this for the rest of the game. I really hope not. So you're here. I'm Brock, Pewter City's gym leader. Yeah, you know, I don't even want my webcam. I'm so, I'm that pissed. Off. I'm just angry. <laughs> you can't. All right, you can see just by looking at my Pokemon how hard. How rock hard my willpower is. My Pokemon are all rock all hard as rock. I can't even read, that's how mad I am. And have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all rock types. <laughs> you think you're going to challenge me? Knowing that you'll lose? That's what a trainer's honor demands. So be it. Show me your best. What kind of forever? Dude, he rocked that pose long before anyone else did, I swear. Except, uh, he was shirtless back in the day. Mmm, Nintendo? <laughs> Alright, our first gym leader battle. Let's do it. He's going out for Judo. Alright. Judo, I understand completely. Now, I'm curious, what level are you? Level 11. So in the original games, uh, it was a level 10 Geodude and a level 12 Onyx. And then in Pokemon Yellow, it was a level 12 Geodude and a level 14 Onyx. So let's just double kick it because that's all we do as Pikachu. Bam, this one. Because our Pikachu was double kick, stupid little Timmy. You fucking idiot. <laughs> Let me tell you, Timmy, you're such a fucking idiot. That. I mean, like Shofu said, dude. You have a Pikachu with double kick and you need a grass and or a water type. Like, that's how stupid you are, Timmy. Onyx, alright. I, I, no, I'm gonna stick with Pikachu right now. Jesus! That's really cool, actually. I like how the scaling is right here. Wait, hold up. I want my bag. I need a potion for this Pika. I have seven potions? How did I get that many? I don't remember ever getting that many potions. Oof. That's a few. That's a move right there. Rock throw. 
<laughs> Honestly, is Rockstar with the Onyx would just be Onyx throwing its body at a Pokemon. And I feel like that should just kill everything that it lands on. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and beat this thing. And we can probably kill it in two hits. Or in two turns, I mean. Yeah, two turns. That's what we're gonna take. Rock throw. And we live with three HP, but we win with three HP is what I'm trying to tell you, people. Because stupid little Timmy needs a stupid little Timmy Chew to learn double kick. And for the record, like... Uh, I don't know if Shofu said it in the video clip that I showed you guys, but Pichu has never learned double kick, ever. In the history of Pokemon, he's never had that fighting type move in his arsenal. Never, ever. But they decided it's okay for whatever reason. Get out of my face, man. <laughs> Pidgey learns mirror move at level 9? That's fun, actually. I wouldn't mind using a Pidgeotto, to be completely honest. Oh, I forgot we had another Pikachu. Jimmy Leader Brock's been defeated. It seems I underestimated you. <laughs> All right, two that two grand for that. And Weedles, I've never seen the evolution. That is beautiful, actually. Wow, that is gorgeous. I'm going to find a way to rip that and use it as my wallpaper or something, man. Wow. That was beautiful, actually. I love that. Jeez, I don't even know why I have all these Pokemon with me, to be honest. I don't even think I've touched the PC, to be honest. I know I had a Pokemon box. Hey, Pikachu! We got our Boulder Badge! I love that. <laughs> with the Boulder Badge, Pokemon up to level 20 from other trainers will listen to you without question. Oh, and wait. Take this with you too. And we got headbutt from Brock. That's weird, we usually got bite. Bite was a move. If you use a TM or technical machine, you can teach your Pokemon the move within it. A TM can be used as many times as you like, so use it on any Pokemon you want. So number one is headbutt now. That's that's okay, I guess. Alright. Butterfree, you you don't even do anything, Butterfree, you're just there. Alright. Ah, that nightmare is over. <laughs> hey, you there, newbie. Okay, who are you? If you're different, this is this is what the rival should be. Oh, yes, Gary, Blue. I don't know which one you are, but yes, I love that you're in this game. <laughs> don't tell me. You've got to be Taco, right? <laughs> I am. That's amazing. I knew it. I'm always right. I'm blue. I heard from my gramps that the two new kids set off on pallet time to become trainers. Just like I did once. So I came to check you out. I was thinking you might want some advice on how to beat the gym from an expert trainer like me. But it looks like I showed up a little too late, huh? Seems you're not too shabby yourself. So I guess you've earned a reward, newbie. I got five great balls from blue. God, I know. This guy's supposed to be mean to me. Hello? This will be even better for catching Pokemon than those plain old Pokeballs you got there. And hey, that thing you've got there? It's the Pokedex, right? So Gramps finally went and made one. He used to just make me scribble on a map with a pencil about where I encountered Pokemon. You better do a good job helping them out. Maybe a professor up to you. And sure, he's an old coot. But he's still my gramps. Smile later, newbie. <laughs> yes, tell me to. Oh, <laughs> he's got that flair. Yo, I don't give a fuck. He's one of my favorite characters in all of Pokemon. He really is just so cool. Oh, look at this slowpoke. Hi there, slowpoke. Poke. What are you just staring at the slowpoke for? Uh, uh, hello there. <laughs> do you think you can do me a favor? Sure. I want to go to the Peter Museum, but my dearest uncle was just refusing to budge. So put it in its Pokeball. Think he he been eyeing my dearest uncle for a little while? Sure. Oh, thank you very much. In that case, please keep my dearest uncle company for a little while. Are you kidding me? 
Are you kidding? Am I just standing here? <laughs> Why? Why are you looking at the slowpoke? <laughs> this is an actual. They put this in the game. <laughs> I'm gonna spend a confusing time with slowpoke. Why? You don't even have to look at it that intense, dude, to go sit on the bench. Thank you for keeping. <laughs> Here's some for your children. You gave me a big pearl just for watching your Pokemon? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll stare at it menacingly a different time. Oh, let's look at the Joy-Con. It's Pikachu's giving us a message. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, you know what? At some point, um, I gotta figure out how to give it a haircut. I hope that's not, like, taxing. Um... So, one thing I appreciate that he didn't do, or Blue didn't do, is um, he didn't heal my Pokemon, and I appreciate that, actually. Oh, hey, Butterfree, I didn't mean to click on you. New badge, and appears very happy. Hey, my Pokemon, no! Um, there is no PC. Wow, I didn't realize that from before. Okay. I guess <laughs> these two are playing Switches. That's adorable. I'm trying Michael Fairy for one. Okay. So I guess it really all is in this um in this bag function. In the bag function, you do have the uh, the Pokemon box, very first option right here. And um, uh, remove from party because we don't need that anymore. Because we don't need to. <laughs> we don't need anything from stupid Timmy anymore, man. Okay, so it's really that simple. Wow, this is an amazing feature that I kind of hope returns in some more Pokemon games, to be honest. So, yeah, I'm just going to remove these. I only want these two Pokemon in my party. I don't think more is necessary at the moment, so we'll leave it at that. Alright. So, in Fire and Leaf Green, getting past this point... Someone would give you running shoes, and I don't think they'll do that anymore. As a matter of fact, what do you want, kid? Oh, wow, that's a boulder badge. You got it from Brock, didn't you? When you get new gym badges, more items will be available to you in the Pokemon. By the way, it's that blue building over there. Thanks, kid. Uh, yeah, been through a lot of places. God, I can't get over how great this game looks, to be honest. Oh, it's a lass. I didn't mean to run into you. Excuse me, you liked me, didn't you? No, I literally didn't. Attention whore. <laughs> Last Janice. Santa Arish. Pika Pika Oh, I forgot to heal. I was in the Pokemon Center and I forgot to heal. That's my fault. But that's perfect. I want the game to punish me for messing up. And you literally didn't knock out the one Pokemon that Okay. 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 <laughs> Whatever. I got lucky. I'll leave it at that. 37 points. And Janice. Cool. Three Pokeballs. I like how they give you Pokeballs as well. Because that um, aiming function, I it's not as tight as I think it should be. Which is really weird, because if you have ever played, um, and it's a really weird game to recommend. Actually, I'm not even recommending it. Like, don't buy the game. Um, but if you ever get the opportunity to, definitely try out 1-2-Switch. Um, because that game, or tech demo, however you want to view it, it shows you a lot of cool stuff about the Joy-Con. Oh, you're a new trainer. Well, I'm the coach trainer. What? Coach trainers are the ones who stand in various places to train them. I'm one of them. So we coach trainers are strong if it just is on itself. So you definitely battle us if you want to test out the strength. Uh, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Wait, no, I don't. Wait, I was kidding. Because Pikachu <laughs> wasn't healed. Totally forgot about that. Whoops. I almost did a heckin' bad thing right there. I really, I really am upset that there's no one. Um, Oof. There's no way to run, but 
And Anna, where are we going kind of fast? I hope there's a bike. Bike would be nice. This game looks so good. I can't get over that. So yeah, um, I think I mentioned this at some point before, but I don't plan on doing like every part of the game as this YouTube series. Um, but I will play whatever I'm on at the time. Like, like once in the day kind of a thing. The only reason I didn't do it yesterday is because I'm still transferring everything from computer to computer. Alright, let's battle this super hard trainer. Even though we just beat the gym leader. How hard can you be? Kareem. Ooh, that's my boss's boss name. Bullseye! Alright, Bulbasaur. Um, go on, Sparky. I know you can do it. Alright, um... Level 11, you're not that much tougher. You're actually the same level as me. Leech Seed. Oof, he got me. God, even Leech Seed. At least it looks like it's from uh, Wind Waker. <laughs> Alright, Pokemon. Can we swap out during the Leech Seed, or is that the whole thing? Okay, cool. Alright, Pidgey. I know you got some uh, grass moves, or er, some flying type moves in your arsenal. Where's that gust? Going for the tackle. Alright, I see you, big dog. But do you see this? Why kids lost the. Well, that did nothing! Wow, Pidgey. I was counting on you. Damn it. Now would have been the perfect time for Leech Seed. I'm gonna go for one more gust. I, don't, I hope he won't knock us out. But Gust was doing a decent amount of damage. More than Leech Seed is draining. Oof, 2 HP. Alright, and we're gonna switch back to Pikachu. Alright, that, that Leech Seed, it's, it's almost kind of refreshing, uh, this battle. I'm glad I deposited the Pokemon, so this is actually like a challenge. Jeez, Pikachu, you're extra as fuck. Alright, let's go ahead and fight with this quick attack, and you're not getting any HP back this turn. Oh, there we go. Honestly, if we, mirror, if we predicted the mirror move with Pidgey, it would have been GG. <laughs> Ugh, okay. Before quick attack. Ooh, a critical hit! Hey! You avoid like five more minutes. <laughs> 70 XP? That wasn't even the level for either Pokemon. You are good. Is he dressed like a military dude? Defeat a coach trainer just like that. Now here's your strength. I have a gift for you. Number five. Hey, that works. We'll take this. Alright. Be sure to use them wisely. Alright. We definitely might. Let's get an item over here. Oh, Alexa. Thank you for the notification. Noxious ass. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's, uh, let's do... Oh, you just looked away as I walked by you. I don't want to stare at your shorts, kid. Hello? Did he just say I can stare at his shorts? That's some pedophile stuff right there. No, thank you. Go on, Sparky. Alright, Sparky, you're definitely destroying this Pokemon. Yeah, Sparrow since always. Why, why is the back of your head just solid black? Like, where are the feathers? <laughs> <laughs> Underrated bird Pokemon as well. I don't know. Pharaoh's not that cool, but Sparrow? Oof. Sparrow should have been the thing. Or more of a thing. There's a lot less trainers here in Mortal Respect, actually. 
Ugh. Come on, get out of my face, dude. I'll battle you with the Pokemon I just caught. You think you're good? Are you taunting me? Hell no. Chance by Camp to Victor. Alright, dude. Go ahead and send out your Nidoran boy. Go ahead and send them out. Show you the power of friendship. We anime in this. <laughs> and you're level 7. Forget your Nidoran. Alright, let's catch a Pokemon I'm up ahead and, uh. Yeah. Yeah, there used to be another, um. Trainer right there. And he used to say, hey, I'm the one that you beat over in Viridian City, or in Viridian Forest. And I don't know, it was kind of cool to see, like, a. What are you talking about? Like a reoccurring character? There's only sparrows here. Hello? <laughs> I don't want. Oh, is that a Mankey? Woohoo! Mankey was popping, though. We're gonna catch the fuck out of you. Get ready. Alright, I really hate this so much. <laughs> I can't tell if I'm aiming right. I'm bad at it. Alright. Ooh, a mid jump. You pretty much threw the Pokeballs at its Pokeballs. Alright, you caught a Mankey. Sweet! Um. New Pokemon technique ones. Do you have different throwing techniques in this game? I mean, that'd be interesting. No, we don't need a new level team. It's fine. Pidgey's level 10, though. That's exciting. Hey, I'm excited about this Mankey, though. Well, I totally skipped it. <laughs> skipped the thing. Alright. Um, so, yeah, I think this is a good spot to call it a day. I hope you guys enjoyed what we've gone through here, and we will catch you on the next one. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it.